Hello everyone. In today's video I'm going to talk about the submatrix function in MATCAD Prime and I will show you how to insert it in a calculation, how it works and how you can use it. The submatrix function, as the name implies, allows you to extract a subset of data from an existing array. The function can be inserted from the functions tab if we go to the vector and matrix dropdown or by going to the matrices and tables tab under vector and matrix function and we can click on it to insert it. The function requires five arguments. So if you type in the function using the keyboard, don't forget to specify all five arguments. The first argument is the name of the array that we want to extract data from. In this example, we have a six by six matrix called M. So we're gonna type in here M. The next four arguments define the range of data that we want to extract. So let's say that we want to start on row two and stop at row 3 and for the columns we want to start at column 0 and we want to stop at column 4 and now we can evaluate. As you can see a subset of the data was created. If you want you can also switch the order of the rows and columns by swapping the two scalar arguments. So let's say that we want to start at row 3 and stop at row 2 so we should see these two reverse. This function is useful when you have to deal with data imported from an external file that contains things like strings or blank spaces. For example, if we evaluate this variable data that contains information imported from an Excel file, we can see that we also imported information that prevents us from using that data in a calculation. This is where the submatrix function can help. I'm going to type in the function name open parenthesis for the arguments. I'm going to specify the name of the data array, specify the row that I want to start from, the row that I want to stop at, and same for the columns. If we want, we can even add units at the end and we can assign this to a variable. If we evaluate that variable, we will get the result and we can change the unit to represent values that we've just imported. In the next example, I will use the submatrix function to replicate the behavior of a moving average function. For this, we are using a set of 100 random points and a window or subset of 10 values. So we generate the vector of values using a range variable and the random function. Then we use the moving average function for the x vector and the w window. To replicate this, I will create another range variable called j that goes from 0 to n minus w and below I'm going to create my version of the moving average function and I'm going to call it y and I'm going to use the vector subscript of j and now we enter the definition of the function. So to do this I'm going to use the min function and in the min function as argument I'm going to use the submatrix function and for the submatrix arguments I'm going to pass in vector of x values and for the rows and columns I'm gonna put in starting from j up to j plus w minus 1 and for the columns we're just gonna put in 0 and 0 because we're dealing with a vector of values. Let's go ahead and plot the results in order to compare the two functions. We're going to plots, insert plots, xy plot. The first thing that we want to do is to plot the actual data that we're working with. So I'm going to plot x versus i. We can then go ahead and add the result of the moving average function. And last, let's add our own function. So I'm going to type in y of j and we want to plot this versus j plus 9. There we have it. To see the traces side by side, we can go in here and add one. So one of the traces is moved up and we can compare them side by side. I will stop here for now. If you want to learn more about MATCAD, please check out the other videos that we have on the channel. I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.